performing a poem entitled I Speak for My Destiny. I want to introduce uh, Noel Maria Adlo. I speak for my destiny. When I was five years old, I was just an innocent soul but with a strong sense of memory. That year I turned five, home was never home again. My parents made it a routine to quarrel and fight every day because of my 16-year-old sister's marriage. My 16-year-old sister was always drenched with tears, but daddy, daddy couldn't understand her pain. My mom kept on telling him that her daughters won't get married at the same age she did. She claimed that our future is bright and this, this is the generation for her girls to study, but my daddy, my daddy insisted that girls are only destined to get married and cook for their husbands. Months later, my sister was married to a man thrice her age. Thrice her age. She was his fifth wife. When I turned six years of age, my sister, my sister, an expectant teenage mother, died due to labor complications. A year later, my mom fell ill and also died. The two things I can't forget in my life is what my mom always told my dad when I was just five years and my sister's fate. Right now, I am 16 years old. Yes, 16 years of age. When I flash back, I realize that if my sister didn't get married, she would be forming her own career. If my sister didn't get married, she would be respected by many. If my sister studied, she would be in our own office. And if my sister didn't die due to her marriage, my mother, my mother would be here, but no, she was married who were the teenager. Does the world really think that teenagers are just some kind of ignorant type of human being? Are we just in a stupid stage and immature? Do you know that we teenage girls are the ones changing the world tomorrow? Do you believe that we have a bright future? Do you know that we can be anything tomorrow? There are so many teenage girls out there who are forced to early marriages. They are denied the right to education. They are given out to elders, to elders in the name of marriage. But little do they know that they are killing the destiny of that girl out there who would have become the most powerful person with solution to every problem on earth. We are not just hopeless teenage girls, but we, we are the medicine to the wounds of the world tomorrow. We girls are tired of this discrimination. We are tired of being sexually assaulted and looked on like garbage. We have a future and dreams of our own that need to be fulfilled. Oh, to hell with the patriarchy who think the world is theirs, who think we girls have no future. But no, we shall not stop fighting for our rights and destinies. To hell, to hell with the patriarchy.